Hey guys, I thought I'd show you my tomatoes. I grew these from seeds. And over there, I've got peppers and all kinds of delicious things in these um, garden patch grow boxes. Um, the real reason I'm showing up today is uh, to share with you that September 8th to January 8th, I am starting my own Mystic Athlete Challenge. Many of you may know about um, what is a Mystic Athlete. It's on my blog. And what I'm going to be doing is using these four months to really focus on my health and my writing and my finances. Um, and health can be physical, emotional, spiritual, it can be all the things. Um, so I just wanted to invite you to join me because you know I love AIDS in a no pressure way. Don't have to be, I'm, I'm off social media mostly um, till January 8th uh, and I'm making so much progress on my book. Um, Y'all are gonna be, oh, and I won a prize um, through 88 Cups of Tea, the community that I adore um, run by Yin Chang. I was one of three people who won out of 151 submissions. I'm very excited. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Totally forgot to tell you. Um, so I'm going to get 20 minutes with Holly Root of Root Literary, um, an amazing agent to ask questions about the industry. So I'll um, post the very, um, you know, I've posted multiple um, podcasts from 88 Cups of Tea before, but there's a very compelling one guest hosted by Yin's sister, um, I'll just let you explore that. At the end of it, at the 108 mark, is when I found out that my my name was um, announced. So again, keeping this short, but just wanted to come in and say, join me. Um, my friend M. Herrick, who's been running marathons forever, has told me, you know, you can concentrate. I'm just giving you other visions of my garden. You can you can make you can work on anything for a specific amount of time, right? So that's what I'm thinking is that for four months I can have that kind of more intentional enhanced enhanced focus on um on my writing on my um on I think I'm getting tired but I'm not gonna erase this <laughs> or delete it um on my health and uh also my finances and that is really aligned with the mystic athlete manifesto which I'll post below and I just finished this amazing book called Darius the Great is not okay it's one of my top three books of all time so I'll um, put a link to that book below. I'm already reading a sequel. It's by Adib Karam. And uh, you'll see um, lots of good things about it. So I just wanted to pipe in and thank you all for your condolences um, that you expressed. Many of you have expressed to me in all different ways. Um, it's not going to lie. It's been a really hard time filled with grief. And um, if you've been following my blog for a while, you know that I've... Um, through different life experiences and becoming a bit of a resilience expert. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just really being grateful for the moments that I have and riding the current of grief when I have to. And uh, it only makes room for more joy. So, hope you can join me. Um, think about your own goals. It's four months. We can do this. And it's a time to really, like, prioritize the thing that you said you were gonna do. It could even be like the tiny project projects that we did long ago where maybe you're just so tired of your junk drawers or um, your pile of papers and you just say, you know what, this is something I commit to over the next four months, bit by bit, having more systems and organization in my life. So that's it. Wishing you lots of love and I'm going on with my day. Mwah. Bye.